Hey everybody, this is Chris, Senior Developer Advocate at DigitalOcean, and today I'm going to show you how to deploy a static site to App Platform. First things first, we're going to go to DigitalOcean.com in your favorite browser. We're going to click Login. If you already have your credentials saved, it'll take you directly into your console. So with this, we are going to look over here on Projects, and we are going to select a new project. We are going to give a project, our project a name. So we're going to call it North American Cryptids. We don't need to enter a description at the time. And for our purpose, it is just going to be a website or a blog. And then we're going to click on Create Project. We don't have any resources to move into this project, so we are going to skip that for now. Great, so we can see down here, we can do a bunch of different things. We can create a bunch of new things. If you wanted to add a database to your project, you can do that as well. In this example, we are just going to deploy our app. That's all we're gonna do. We're not setting anything else up. We're just gonna simply deploy it. So we're gonna click on deploy your web app. Now we have to provide a repo for this. By default, GitHub is selected. I'm gonna keep it on GitHub, but you can use GitLab, Docker Hub, etc. Or if you had a custom app that you were building, you could choose a sample app from this dropdown. But for this one, I'm going to choose GitHub and I'm going to search for NA Cryptids Ionic DO. You're going to connect your repository or your organization or your, your GitHub profile to this. That way, DigitalOcean can pull from a list of repos um, in your GitHub or your GitLab, etc. We're going to leave the branch as main, the source directory, we're going to leave optional, and then auto deploy is going to be checked. That means anytime that you make a change and you push that up to your code repository, DigitalOcean is going to kick off another build. App Platform will kick off another build. We're going to click on next. All right, we're going to see our resources. At the moment, this says web service. We're going to change it from web service to static site because that's what we are deploying. Nothing more, nothing less. Just HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. We're going to save that. We can check out the build phases down here. The output directory is auto, and we have one route. Everything looks good. Everything looks set up. We're going to click on next. We don't have any environment variables for this. If you did have environment variables, this is the page that you would set those up in. We're gonna click next. The various info, Stingray-app, first project. Click next again, there's a lot of next clicking. Everything looks good, it's gonna be static site, no environment variables, we have the name, the region is New York. And then if you have a total for your billing, it'll be down here in the billing section. We're gonna create resources, You can see up top, Stingray app has been created. We have some new app platform instance plans, so you can check those out if you want to. And right now we are building our app. So let's go to the build logs, which are right here. And these are happening live as I'm talking to you right now. So app platform is building out all of our assets, getting our site ready for deploy. You can see down here the status, status indicator that it's building. It's a manual deploy by me, the author, the time, the date, the hash digest. This could take a few minutes. So you can peruse around, look at your overview, the insights, the runtime logs. You can check out the console if there's anything in there. The settings, which are your app settings, just kind of gives you the rundown of your application. If you needed to delete or destroy your app, you can do that here as well. Let's go back to the build logs. And just like that, everything is complete. The build has finished. We got the green check marks. Our app was deployed successfully. And then we can check it out by going here. Perfect. Cryptids of North America. My favorite cryptid is Mothman. 
first sighted in West Virginia, but there's a handful of different North American cryptids out there. Bigfoot, Chupacabra, Jersey Devil, and the Wendigo. So that was a quick introduction to deploying a static site in that platform in the DO console. Come back and check us out for more. Peace. <laughs>